Hey everybody, we've got Gary's engine set up here. I uh, got the boring bar on there, and we're just getting going on boring this guy. Number one cylinder wasn't terrible. It's that number three cylinder that's way, way big. Now I'm cutting these in two passes. I'm sending um, one cutter down to get a, a true hole, and then I'm going to finish size. Now remember, this is 60 thousandths. When you go way down to the bottom, there's no wear. So it's a true 60 thousandths on the bottom, and it was almost 80 thousandths at the top. Um, this is my uh, cutter to make the 80 thousandths cut. Hopefully we're going to make a true cut all the way around there. Uh, like I say, number one's not terrible, uh, but we're going to go one, two, and then four and three. So we'll see where we get. Um, nothing too fancy about this. You've seen me do it before. And we're just going to engage that guy and hopefully we'll get a true cut, which we didn't get on the first one at the very top. And that sounds pretty good. Sounds like we're getting a cut. Let's hope we get it the whole way down. Okay, guys. We're set up on that ugly number three cylinder. And we're going to try and make a pass and see where we get. Hopefully we'll get a cut all the way around. Sounds pretty good. I think we might make it. And like I say, this is the worst one. And we're going to let that just go down slow and see if we clean up. I'm leaving three thousandths on there. Uh, this is three inch two zero two the bore I'm cutting with the, the boring bar and I'm going to take the last three thousandths out uh, with the honing machine uh, we're going to shoot for a bore of three inch 205 and hopefully when we pull this back out it will be a nice clean cylinder uh, funny thing I was getting I was ordering some new honing machines uh, stones today and I called up the place I get them from you guys anybody doing this at home you need good honing equipment Tennessee abrasives um, you might have heard me mention before so I called up Tennessee abrasives put my order in there and a short while later they call me back and say the card's been declined so I call up the bank and somebody in Amsterdam tried to put a charge through and they shut the card down so I ran over to the bank to see if I could get a temporary card which I was able to and they tracked the fraudulent charge to the last time I filled up fuel in the military pickup so they believed there was a skimmer on the pump and it's not terrible enough that the diesel is six dollars and thirty cents but there's people stealing your card at the same time so filling up that military truck is right around 250 bucks now and I've been driving that driving the wheels off that thing lately it's been doing all kinds of stuff and the card gets stolen so temporary card don't worry Gary, the new fresh stones are on the way and this will be a perfect home job on your cylinders here. So uh, the order went through, I got a temporary card, don't worry nothing about it, we'll get this cylinder perfectly dead on the money at 3 inch 205 for you. So just a pain in the ass out there, the world's not bad enough, they gotta be skimming your cards these days too. I'm gonna let that play out. And uh, hopefully when I retract it, we'll have a nice cut all the way around. Okay, guys, we did not clean up at 3 inch 197. We've got an area right in this area that didn't clean up. I have now switched out to my 3 inch 
202 cutter uh, we're going to send that down and hopefully we clean up we still have three with the honing machine but I like to be fully cleaned with the uh, with the boring bar so I'm going to send that down through there and hopefully sounds like a better cut sounds like we're getting it all around you can hear the difference So I'm going to let that head down there, and uh, I'll show you the finished bore. This, like I say, this is the worst zone. If we get this cylinder, we know number four is going to clean up. So, be nice if we don't have to sleeve this one. Okay, guys. Success on all the cylinders. I'm going to try and shine a light in there so you can see them. Those marks that you see in the, the those lines, um, they're from the paws that come out and keep the boring bar straight um, they're just dark marks they'll come right out with the honing so every cylinder is perfectly round it's true from top to bottom it's not shaped like an ice cream cone like they were and we're right like I said at two three inch two zero two uh, we'll finish out three two zero five and we'll get that with the honing machine and we'll hand fit every piston uh, half thousands either way sometimes we gotta go um, but every piston will be hand fit like you've seen me do before and everything is in good shape right now now that I know the block is cleaned up we're gonna just take care of these cracks uh, We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five cracks that we want to stabilize. And we're going to be putting pins in there. We don't, like I say, we don't want the cracks to migrate and come off the block this way or migrate over to a valve seat. We don't want that. And that will happen. We're going to grab these cracks and those pins are such that they kind of they squeeze the metal together they they grab it and it won't it won't separate so uh, I'll show you more on that when we do it but we've got a bunch of cracks to go after and that's gonna happen next uh, and then we'll stick it in the honing machine and fit the pistons okay guys parts are starting to dribble in for Hal's engine uh, we still don't have the tappets yet uh, I did find him some new old stock ones are just gonna be a few more days uh, here's Hal's oil pump. Uh, this is a Melling. That's the M53, which is in every gear drive engine. Uh, the L and the F heads. Um, if you have a chain drive engine, obviously everything's different. Uh, you don't use the M53. But Melling still makes both styles. Uh, there's a lot of retailers now selling basically the white box brand. I don't know where they come from. I don't know where they get them. Um, I, I don't know anything about them, uh, but a lot of them are failing. Uh, Melling, I've been using uh, forever, and I, I don't have any trouble with the Melling. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive. Uh, you can go out if you're shopping for your oil pump just on price alone. Um, don't plan on a long life for your engine. Uh, the the pumps are failing. The 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 white box brand. Uh, but like I say, the Mellings don't, uh, and I won't put anything uh, but a Melling um, in an engine that I'm doing. Um, so be careful. Uh, talk to your engine builder. Uh, do yourself a favor and and get a Melling. Um, th there's just too many problems with the other ones. So just a tip for you. Like I say, with on Gary's engine, we're trying to we're trying to show everybody what not to do. Uh, if somebody rebuilds your bad motor, then, well, that's terrible. Uh, if you're redoing your own engine and you don't decide to put in quality parts, uh, that's another story. So, for the guys that want to do it right, Melling is a good brand. I don't get anything from them. I don't, you know, they don't, they're not associated with the channel or anything. They just make good oil pumps. They make a lot of good parts. And I use them all the time. Uh, sometimes they're hard to get. I have 17 of these on order and they're coming in onesie twosies as they're available 
so it's very hard sometimes to get the good parts but you got to stick with it and uh, and try and find them okay guys making a little more progress on Mark's engine as well uh, I was able to get most of the head studs out I got a broken one right here and I've got another broken one back there um, this is about as bad as it gets it's pretty well crudded up here still working on getting these two valves out I thought the studs were gonna be worse I thought I'd probably break all of them but um, actually only two and they just you probably could have broken with your fingers they were so bad uh, I'm gonna get this cleaned up scrape the top down get these bolts out then we'll pop the pistons out and uh, and see what we got going on uh, with the crankshaft but um, I just you know making progress on all these engines as parts come in as things are able to get done um, I got three going on right now I've got another one coming in uh, I'm gonna try and get them all wrapped up as quick as I can so everybody hang in there um, we're gonna be stitching up Gary's block next and hopefully uh, Hal's parts will be in and we'll get moving on that so just a short one for you today uh, I just want to show you what I'm up to and uh, Gary I wanted you to see your actual cylinders being bored so you know what's happening with your engine and uh, you can feel good about it so that's what's happening and uh, I'll be back with another video soon so as usual thanks for watching catch you on the next one